marketing as being a host or a participant. Okay, we're being recorded. So this is the meeting of the Gig Harbor Civil Service Commission for Monday, March 28th, 2022. And Zoom meeting. I guess we'll open the meeting. Zoom meeting. Uh oh, I keep getting something except meeting. Is somebody else need to click into a meet accept the meeting? Mm. No. no. Okay. Not, not seeing anything going on. Okay. I just kept hearing a kind of a you know that voice that comes out. Okay, we have one thing on the agenda. Kelly, do you want to uh, do, you, present? Do, you, do you need to approve minutes? Uh, we don't have it on the agenda. I don't think we have a copy of the previous minutes at this point. Okay, Josh, can you promote me to share screen? Yes, I think so. Well, he does that. I'll tell you that we conducted a uh, testing round of testing uh, last week. We had initially five applicants in the queue. Uh, one uh, withdrew because he accepted a conditional offer at another agency. One asked to not test this time, but remain on the list for as long as he can, which is up to a year. Um, another couldn't make it out here from out of state during the oh. testing process. Um, another did show up for the testing process uh, and we did the physical agility test first and he failed. So he was disqualified. And the fifth was also out of state and we interviewed him by Zoom because he also did part of his physical agility test already. And I'm going to show you that as soon as I'm able to share a screen. It's there tiny. we go. I can, I see the button. It says that all so, participants can share, so you should be good. Yeah, here we go. Here, oh, what are you seeing? Zoom meeting. Let's see, let's try this. What are you seeing? Zoom meeting. Physical agility okay. results. Physical ability test results. So uh, this candidate uh, was out here uh, in October of last year and tested through public safety testing, which is a company that does most of the testing for agencies in Washington. And um, we actually have a kind of a standby contract with them for entry levels. But he came out and did what is now the state um, standard of 20 push-ups, 25 sit-ups, 35 squat thrusts. They got away from the runs. We have not adopted that standard yet, but he passed their uh, the state standards uh, in October. Uh, and here's further verification that it was him. Um, so we went ahead and said, okay, we'll go ahead and interview you and let the Civil Service Commission rule on whether we can accept that standard and maybe even make it conditional if he passed the oral board. And then we could open up a background on him and um, obligate him then to come out here to complete or, or perform our slightly different version of the physical agility test. Or if we send a, a background investigator out there, which we often do, we can have that investigator put him through the same test. Um, so that's our, that's our candidate. I'll tell you that he looked pretty good. He scored very well. Uh, I can't comment otherwise on that, but uh, he looks like somebody we would want to open a background investigation on as soon as possible. So with that in mind, I would turn it back to the commission here for discussion about uh, a waiver or at least partial waiver of the um, Washington law enforcement physical agility test. Terrific. Thank you, uh, Denny. Any comments? Well, is this a lateral? or Yes, sir. Okay. Well, you know, that's not, that's not the toughest physical I've ever heard of, but uh... I can review our standards for you. Our standards are 21 push ups in one attempt, um, 30 sit ups in a minute, and a 300 meter run in 71 seconds. Again, Washington, as you can see, it's blocked out has uh, uh, gotten away from that and they've substituted the squat thrust standard for whatever reason. 
uh, there were injuries or something happening. So, um, but we can certainly have him run that 300 meters at some point. Well, I, I'm fine with that. I, I think uh, it's tougher than some I've seen. Tom, do you have any comments? You're muted, Tom. Tom, you're still muted. Zoom meeting. There we go. If, if you're saying that this is equivalent, then I'm, I'm happy with it. It's close. It's not exact. It's, it's very close, but yeah. If I could offer a recommendation, I would say that we just call this conditionally accepted um, and then uh, have him go through our test either out, uh, he's from South Dakota, either in South Dakota or in Washington when he visits, um, and just to make it official, but that we can move forward with certifying the list and conducting a background. That to me sounds reasonable. Uh, Denny or Tom, do you have a motion? I would move to, uh, to accept his uh, physical agility test as written. As written, okay. Yeah. Second. Okay, that's a uh, first and a second. Uh, any additional discussion? Diane's wanting to say something. I didn't see who seconded is all. Oh, Tom second. Okay, thank you. Okay, we'll call for the vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Okay, well then we'll consider him a certified candidate uh, and we will open the background investigation and hopefully that will get us up to our full complement of 21 budgeted officers very soon. Good. Very good. Yeah. Where, whereabouts in North Dakota? Uh, North Sioux City. Okay. So the east side of the state? I, boy, I don't know my geography in South Dakota. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good. Um, I'll tell you one other thing just for the uh, good of the order here is that uh, I've been in discussions with the school district about adding a school resource officer in the next year um, with them picking up uh, a portion of that pay and benefits. Terrific. So that would be a good addition for us. Is that one officer for all the junior high and high schools? Right, we have six schools in our city limits. Oh. The high school, the alternative high school, um, one middle school and three elementaries. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good program. I did that for two years when I was at Vancouver. I was the youth liaison officer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think it's a really good program. And if we can share the, the expense there with the school district, that would be perfect. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Terrific. Anybody have any other new business that they would like to bring up? Kelly, if you could just say a few words about uh, future hiring uh, plans or uh, wishes or. Well, I can, I, I, I don't, I don't, I haven't well thought my, my strategy yet for the budget cycle. Um, it looks like we're gonna be moving to a two year budget cycle again, yay. Um, that process usually begins around August. So I'll have my, I'll have a little better idea what's going on by then. I want to let the jail situation calm down. I want to let the, the um, laws that have been kind of refined again, settle down a little bit and see where we stand. But um, uh, certainly additional staffing is, is within view. Thank you. We also, we also anticipate at least two officers retiring within the first six months of next year. Really? And, and um, the administration here is leaning towards supporting the notion of over hiring a little bit, whether that even be an entry level to send to the academy, just to have them on board so that when we do what, lose one or two to retirement, that it's not a long process to replace them. Good idea. Terrific. Anything else from anybody? If not, do I hear a motion to close the meeting? So moved. Second. 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 All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? It passes. Thank We're you. Not.
Thank you all very much. Thank you. See you later.